हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द चैनल वेलकम टू द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ द एटॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर लेट अस स्टार्ट नाउ इन द प्रीवियस वन आई डेल्ट टिल द ग्राउंड स्टेट लेट अस स्टार्ट द एक्साइटेड स्टेट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज द एक्साइटेड स्टेट एक्साइटेड स्टेट इज एनी स्टेट अदर देन द ग्राउंड स्टेट ऑफ एटम सच एज द ग्राउंड स्टेट ऑफ एटम इज n 1 that means excited state can be n is equals to 2 n is equals to 3 or anything and let me tell you an important point if there is written in second excited state in second excited state then in that case you have to take the value of n equals to 3 if it's written in fourth excited state then you have to take the value of n equals to 5 right let us move a hit now we have the ionization energy see ionization energy what is ionization energy the energy required to remove an electron from the outermost shell of a gaseous atom right so ionization energy we can have an example such as there is 14.0 electron volts energy is given right let us take an example that 14.0 electron volt energy is given now see here ionization energy that means the minimum required energy is 13.6 electron volts that means this much energy is required so here ionization energy 13.6 electron volt while the remaining that means 14.0 minus 13.6 electron volt energy that is 0.4 electron volt energy this remaining energy is extra the minimum energy required that is ionization energy that is 13.6 right now let us move to the ionization potential now what is this ionization potential see ionization potential see if there is written for one electron volt suppose this is ionization energy for one electron volt ionization energy the value of ionization potential is 1 volt for 54.6 electron volts of energy the value of ionization potential will be equal to 54.6 volts similar is the formula we have that means ionization potential can be written as ionization potential is equals to ionization potential into e is equal to the ionization energy as you can see here e and v see this e is the electronic charge e while this v voltage this represents the ionization potential that is equal to the ionization energy so just suppose see i am taking the value suppose the ionization energy of hydrogen atom is given to be 13.6 electron volts now what is the value of ionization potential for that for this hydrogen atom we can write the value is 13.6 volts similarly suppose it has been given ionization energy of he plus ion is given to be 54.4 volts now electron volts now what is the value of ionization potential for this we can write the value of ionization potential for this can be 54.4 volts now after ionization energy and ionization potential we have the another one that is let us see excited energy see excited energy what is excited energy excited see excited energy the energy required this is important let me write the definition energy required to move an electron to move an electron from the ground state from the atom to any other 
to any other excited state to any other excited state of atom is called as the excitation energy of that state see suppose let me give you an example this is the ground state n equal to 1 and this is the first excited state that means n equal to 2 as i told you earlier see now this is at minus 13.6 electron volts while this is minus 3.4 electron volts now the difference between this is 10.2 electron volts the difference between this is 10.2 electron volts now see first excitation energy first excitation energy value is e2 minus e1 that means the first excitation energy value will be equal to minus 13.6 e2 see the energy of higher orbit that means i can write it minus 3.4 minus c1 minus is here minus and inside also minus 13.6 electron volts that means it is going to give me plus 10.2 electron volts this is the value of first excitation energy now similarly now as we had the excitation energy let us see excitation potential excitation potential it is similar to that of ionization potential see excitation potential uh, similarly i can write see i wrote excitation excitation energy of hydrogen atom first excitation energy of hydrogen atom as plus 10.2 electron volts that means i can write the excitation potential value first excitation potential value of hydrogen to be equal to plus 10.2 volts similarly as we wrote that of ionization energy and ionization potential now let us see another one that is the binding energy now this binding energy is also known as the separation energy this is also known as the separation energy now see what is the definition of the binding energy or the separation energy the definition of this is energy required the energy required to move an electron from any state to n is equal to infinite that means the energy which is required to move an electron from any state to n is equal to infinite this can be any states for example n equal to 2 3 4 anything now let me write example see binding energy of hydrogen can be written as what plus 13.6 electron volt now after this let me also tell you something about emission spectrum of hydrogen atom about the emission spectrum only and in the next video i'll be dealing with the question see first of all delta e that means change in energy can be written as final energy minus initial energy which can also be new or it can also be written as now for shortest wavelength see in rydberg's question there will be written for shortest wavelength or for the longest wavelength so you have to use the value of n2 and n1 here i am telling you for shortest wavelength and for the longest wavelength for the shortest wavelength then what you have to do if there is written for shortest wavelength then you have to take from n is equal to infinite to is equal to 2 to n is equal to 1
right after this let me tell you one important statement that occurs in normal condition the single electron in hydrogen atom stays in the ground state now it is excited to some higher energy state when it acquires some energy from the external source that means when the electron gets energy from some external source then it get then it gets excited and moves to higher state but it hardly stays there for approx a time period of there is a definite time period 10 raised to power minus 8 seconds it is assumed that the electron hardly stays there for 10 raised to power minus 8 seconds a photon corresponding to a particular spectral line is emitted when electron makes a transition from higher energy state to the lower energy state now we'll be dealing with the rydberg's formula and the emission diagram in the next 